Earlier in the year, we announced something about the Earth spinning a little faster this year by a couple of milliseconds, I think. Something like that. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is that time is flying. I literally feel like I'm hitting the age mark where I said I wanted to accomplish certain things by, and I'm slightly disappointed in myself. You know when we were younger and said, okay, we're going to get a car by 23, married by 24, have kids by 25, and then play flames to see who you're going to marry? Well, yeah, that didn't work out for a lot of people. And truthfully, that's okay. Social media has a lot to do with how we're feeling. Whether you want to believe it or not, it could be directly or indirectly, you know, subconsciously. But why are we putting an age on accomplishments? I'm not saying we shouldn't want certain things, but if those things define who we are, then why are we really doing it? To please other people? Life is so short and all most of us are doing is trying to survive. We are literally not living at all. We're trying to make money to pay bills. That's it. Sometimes I feel like I should be working my ass off in my 20s so I can live comfortably for the rest of my years. But honestly, I want to have fun in my 20s. I feel like those should be my careless years or maybe I should say carefree years. Now that I'm older, I'm not really interested in the never ending partying. I've done it for years. I'm over it. Not saying I won't go every now and then, but for the most part, I prefer going out in the daytime. Or if I do go out at night, let it be a movie or a link up, BNB link up, or a dinner. So, I am at Epican. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, right there. But I'm not ready to go in yet because I am waiting on Shaquille, and as you can hear, there's music plays it, so I don't wanna get caught I purposely did not put on a necklace, although I'm low-key feeling like I should have. Huh? I'm gonna put on my um, the bracelet yet. I just went with the simple all black to be honest. I don't even know if you can hear me, so I will talk to you guys when I am inside. And people are past me, I don't want to have more mud. Jesus Christ. Yes. I'm finally home. It is now. It is definitely my bedtime. I am just extremely tired. My room is an absolute mess. I have to wipe off makeup. Not fun. Not fun. I got some pictures, but I don't really like them. Like, I would have preferred the camera quality. Like, the camera, when I took the pictures with my camera, the quality was fine, but I just didn't look good the background and everything looked good but i didn't look good but when i took them on shakil's phone i look good and the background didn't look good i really and truly right me look good so i might just try to edit those to the best of my ability yeah bag a little oh but catch y'all tomorrow yeah in august i made a promise to myself to start making a couple changes I've now admitted that I'm a negative person. I wasn't always like that though, but life has thrown so many things at me that it's become overwhelming and I just started losing all hope, all faith, yeah, everything, that's, that's just it. I became a whatever happened happened type of person because no matter how I try to tell myself it'll get better, something always set me 10 steps back. I also talked about this on my TikTok, but yeah, it's just very hard when you get one win and then five losses. It's like the losses outweigh that one win. And honestly, I should not be thinking like that. That one win might not have happened if I didn't lose. You literally have to lose in order to win. And I'm not here to give a biased or hypocritical pep talk. I'm literally also trying to talk myself into thinking more positively. But I just felt like I needed to share this with you guys too. Because I know people out there probably feel the same way.
I'm saying all this to say I decided to change. I have to be the change I want to see. I started going to the gym, which is literally the best thing ever. I literally love the gym. If I could go every single day to the gym, I would. Also, I'm still trying to journal more. I realize I don't journal as often as I would like because sometimes I am just in a bad mood. I don't want to see no pen and no paper. Honestly, I don't, I don't want to see it. I really don't want to see it. I'm honestly trying to stay off my phone or stop keeping everything on my phone because sometimes I'll actually journal in my notes app, but I think it's more effective when I physically write it out. So yeah, I also don't go out half as much as I did even compared to summer. And a lot of you will realize that like, yeah, but didn't mean it. And some of my friends were on my ass about it. And I was really annoyed because better I just want to stay home. I'm doing this for me. I needed discipline. I needed to stay disciplined and focused on the goal. The am understand now still and I'm happy for that. But those bitches don't invite me anywhere anymore. But, you know, they know if it's an Airbnb link up or you know i want ochi pre or something like that i'll probably come and they know that <laughs> and that's another thing i am learning to set my boundaries and respect my own boundaries if people don't want to respect it i know exactly what to do but i'm learning not to go back on my own word and i'm very proud for standing my ground with a lot of things you might think that everything is going well for me even though i'm saying all this but literally very recently i hit rock bottom What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, your girl is outside, and when I say outside, I'm literally on the roadside. Um, I just don't want to be in the house anymore. I just wanted to come out of my room. I'm outside because I had a whole mental breakdown. The mental breakdown started at home, and then I had something to do on the road, and asked my boyfriend to pick me up, and before I could come out of the car to go do what I was doing, I just exploded. Yeah, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm just not going to get into it because I just wanted them dating. Just wanted them dating way one and alive. And you feel like you just want to be with God. But here I am. I was writing in my journal this morning because I just felt so heavy and I just feel like I have a piece of salt this bar me and me to go back and go wash up. I'm genuinely not even trying to be funny because I am watching TikToks and every other TikTok is somebody bawling, somebody saying this is happening in their life and they need a break. Like that, those are the key words that I keep hearing. I need a break. I need a break. We are a very unhappy set. It's really just not me. Dog, what is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? and i just wanted to unalive not gonna lie i was just completely done um yeah i was just completely done i'm happy to have good friends though who listen to me vent and don't judge me when i talk like that but god no it was really a rough time and i just started to think maybe i am not including god enough in my life so i've decided to start a new journey with god i do not know where to start i'm not you know, I have no idea where to start, but please, I am not going to church, so don't even, don't even suggest that, okay? However, I feel like that's what I'm really missing in my life. I really feel like that's what's missing in my life, and I'm going to find ways to include him more. I'll figure it out, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out. So, guys, I am at Broken Place with Lee. Oh my god, she looks like a Barbie! <laughs> but yeah, we'll just get my Amarita Sour. I'm trying to go easy on the drinks because we know how I am with the drinks. So just put the cup on. A fly is in her drink. We're gonna kill them that. Yes, seven. A fly. A fly. Big dirty fly. And if you do my charger for the drinks, yeah, man.
this was a mouthful i've been had this on my chest for a hot minute and i was wondering what type of video am i gonna put out where i can say all of this duh go back to the og visual diaries i don't know how i forgot that i was doing this but yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much all i had on my mind jesus ear the dog this is like a real diary for true. I'm sorry if it's not as aesthetically pleasing as y'all would have liked it. But this is my reality. This is my reality. And yeah.